Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight uh, with this picture from Lynn Richardson. We're looking at uh, fields of blue in the North Tongue River over there on top of, uh, I believe it's the Bighorn Mountains out there in northern Wyoming. Lynn Richardson sent that picture, and that's the way it looked today. Good looking shot there, huh? Meanwhile, I like this one comes to us from Dorinda Gunderson. We're looking at Baker, the sky in Baker tonight. They had some thunder showers near there today, but I think most of the big stuff actually fired up just north of Baker this afternoon and this evening. But let's move on and show you what's happening in Billings right now. Currently, we do have this. We have 59 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the south. Southwest at six miles per hour, and as you can see, our high temp today actually topped out at 62, about 20 degrees cooler than our average high, which is 82. The record was 105, so back in 1984, the record low was 42 back in 1947. And when it comes to precip, look at that—we picked up uh, 1.43 inches of rain today, just since midnight. And then we picked up about another third of an inch uh, yesterday before midnight. So you throw them all together, and we wound up with like uh, 1.78 inches of rain up at the airport. Here's where we are for the month, though: 4, 8, 428. Only need to be at two inches, so we're actually ahead of normal there. And for the year, we're at 7.73. Got very close to being caught up to average. Uh, the 30-year year-to-date average for Billings right now is 7.92, and we're at 7.73, so we're close. Well, we got some more rain coming up this week. We'll see if we can catch up a little bit. Meantime, our current temps into the 40s and 50s out in the west, 50s and 60s across the High Line, and even some 70s still at Glendive, uh, Williston, North Dakota at 73, generally 50s across South Central Montana and Northern Wyoming. But look at our reported highs only into the 50s in the southwest today. That's because we had a lot of rain there. Where we didn't have the rain, well, we had temperatures getting up into the 70s and 80s. Look at that, uh, 83 at Glendive. It was 85 at Williston today. And as we move on, you can see we do have this. Look at all the rainfall coming out of Sheridan. So we still got a shot at some more showers tonight in the Billings area, probably just getting ready to rain on us right now. Elsewhere around the Great Falls, we got all this moisture kind of wrapping up and going around here. We have an upper level low pressure cell over there in Idaho that's wrapping all that moisture around it. And so what we will see is most of the big severe stuff still lingering in the extreme eastern edge of the state tonight, but most of that's heading over in towards the Dakotas overnight tonight. For us, you'll see showers elsewhere tomorrow across much of southern Montana and even Wyoming, but most of the big stuff that'll be over there into the Dakotas and that is out of our area, and so we don't have to worry about severe thunderstorms tomorrow. That's these guys right here. Look at those honking storms. Well, we did have this upper level low pressure cell. The moisture is coming out of, uh, off the Pacific into Canada, wrapping around here, picking up a little moisture in the Great Basin area, and then pushing that thing all the way in towards our area. Then it kind of wraps around as well. And so you'll see it at the surface. Here's the cold front that moved through last night, but the upper level low is just spinning all this moisture around, and eventually by tomorrow, all that moisture swings back our way, and we have another shot at some showers from the same storm we had today. It'll just wrap itself around and come right back at us. Then on Wednesday, we'll dry up in the morning, but that afternoon a new system starts moving in and it'll bring us a chance for some additional showers on Wednesday night. In the meantime, we'll see not much more rain out of it, just some light stuff here, maybe well, an inch to uh, maybe an inch and a quarter over at uh, uh, Livingston, or about a quarter inch at Livingston. So really not much here, just light stuff moving in the next day or so. But uh, temps tonight will cool back down to the 30s, 40s, and 50s out in the west. Back here in the east, generally into the 50s and 60s. 50 here in Billings, 57 over Miles City. It'll be 41 at Livingston tonight, 32 over West Yellowstone. Tomorrow back up into the 60s, some low 70s again in the far west into the 50s and 60s out there with cl partly cloudy skies, eventually some sunshine moving in out there. And back here in Billings, generally just partly cloudy skies, a slight chance for rain tomorrow. Tonight we cool down to 50 with a 30% chance for rain. Next seven days, 69 with a 40% chance of rain on Tuesday. Wednesday, 77, a slight chance of rain. We get into the 80s on Thursday. We keep those 80s all the way through the weekend and into next week with a slight chance for some showers on Friday through Monday. Let's go back to Russ.